Math 083 Final Exam Review Problem 17 Parts A and B Because in Part A we have a division problem and because we have the same root number, the second root or the square root, we can divide 150 by 6 and make that the radicand, the stuff inside that square root. You can check 150 divided by 6, that's 25. So we have the square root of 25, we have our answer here, 5. Let's look at part B. As we mentioned for part A, because we have a division problem and the same radical root number, the square root, we can form a single fraction and that will be our radicand, the stuff under the radical. So we will carry out the algebra under the square root and then after we do that we will apply the square root. 45 divided by 5 is 9. a to the seventh divided by a squared is simplified by subtracting the exponents. 7 minus 2 is 5 because we start with the 7 and then subtract the 2 and the a to the seventh is in the numerator. Our answer goes in the numerator as well, a to the fifth. Subtracting 13 and taking away the implied exponent 1. 13 minus 1 is 12. We started in the numerator. Our answer goes in the numerator. So we no longer actually have a denominator. Under the radical we have 9, a to the fifth, b to the twelfth. And we must take the square root of that. So we have square root of 9 times a raised to the 5 divided by the root number times b raised to the 12 divided by the root number. We have 3 times a to the 5 halves power. The way I have explained this to my class, and I've explained it in previous videos, we will convert this improper fraction 5 halves into a mixed fraction, 2 and 1 half. By properties of exponents, we can write a raised to the second power times a raised to the 1 half power. Here we have b raised to the sixth power. We have therefore 3 a squared, b to the sixth, and that is the square root of a. And that is our final answer.